how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. We are in Chiang Mai. Sorry, it's so loud. But there's a lot of motors everywhere. And this city of Chiang Mai is known uh, for a city that is full of temples, full of monks, meditation retreats, cooking classes, Thai massage classes, tracking nature, elephants, and much more. So I'm super excited to be here. Uh, we are walking in the streets, trying to find something to eat before my before my vegan Thai food cooking class that I'm doing today, which I'm super excited about. Yes, green beans. No. So it's made from green beans? Yes. Mm. And rice. This one is rice and this one is green yes. beans? Nice. So, so that's for the sticky rice? No, this one is from the sticky rice. Okay, so what's this one called? How is it called? The name? The name? Like this? Glutinous rice. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I saw that online. Okay, and you make this just with water and oil? Uh, coconut. Coconut? Mm -hmm. Coconut milk? Yes. So this already has, like this, but this has the coconut milk already? Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Okay, mm -hmm. so oh, this yes. is just water. Yes. Only water. Steamy. But okay. what makes it sticky? Um, right now it's sticky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's already sticky. Mm -hmm. It's uh, from the rice? This one milk. It's already so like that. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. When you cooking, it's just sticky. Okay? vegan vegetarian chef yes. and teacher today yes what are we making today here mm -hmm. what are we making it, uh, we do the red curry red curry yes right, red curry and i'll show you guys how we made this later but it smells absolutely amazing yeah. Technique how to squeeze yeah, like use the big spoon to squeeze. Mm -hmm. so you do it like that? Yeah. Get more juice coming out.
Adam. Uh, he is the teacher and founder of the vegan uh, vegetarian uh, cooking class here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And we had such an amazing day today. We had five course meals, uh, which I'll be posting soon. And uh, Adam, tell us a little bit about you. How, how, why did you start a vegan vegetarian class? Oh, here? okay. Actually, this vegan class I started four years ago with my brother. Okay, his name Apiwat. And then I come and help him. Okay, I have a coffee farm, and we interesting because more and more people like to have a vegetarian more than me. Okay. Yeah. And you have people from all over the world. That's right. Okay, people from European people, uh, even Chinese people, American, uh, Holland, Dutch, Italian, all over the world. Yes, yes, yes. And um, are you vegan and vegetarian yourself? I weekend about put it like six days a week. Okay. Good. Because uh, my doctor said I need to eat some kind of fish, you know, to help me. Yes. Okay. Great. Well, thank you. Um, and if you can share just a little bit about what we did today, what type of meals that we cooked today? Oh, sure. Okay. Today we let uh, uh, our guest uh, select the menu. Okay. So each person select about four menu: uh, appetizer, soup, and the main course and also one dessert okay and today uh, everybody look like to be used to cook before so we don't have a problem how to handle the knife and they all learn a lot of technique because we have a professional uh, chef from america uh, chinese okay as it actually is my wife uh, actually <laughs> she, she teach a technique okay mm -hmm. how to cut the vegetable and how to check the vegetable is done when you cook is very important because cooking the secret is time and temperature also the texture of the vegetable that you use okay yes. and uh, look like everyone happy and we have a nice <laughs> yes thank uh, you uh, guest from Curacao, Curacao, yes, okay. Miami, everywhere. Miami, oh, yes, right. yes, yes, okay. yes, 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 great. Um, and we we had some special vegetables that we use today that are uh, traditional from Thailand. Uh, can you name a few? I know we use galangal, we used uh, uh, kaf kafir, kafir, kafir. leaf, ka and bergamot, and mm -hmm. also uh, sweet basil. Uh, Thai is not like uh, American sweet basil or European sweet basil. The taste is more uh, fragrant and also have a different kind of coriander that coriander is in Thai is different than uh, coriander in Europe and America yes well thank you Adam for uh, a brief explanation of your vegan and vegetarian cooking class here in Chiang Mai so if you guys are interested if you're ever ever in Thailand come see Adam and his wife uh, we uh, so you guys can learn uh, traditional vegan vegetarian uh, Thai food. It's my pleasure to, uh, to have your guys here because more and more the world need to uh, more vegan because our world need to cut down on the meat because uh, we kill animal and bad for the environment also. Okay, thank you very much. No, thank you. My pleasure. Have a good day. Hey guys, we are here at the Thai Muang vegan vegetarian cooking class and I'm here with Rita and Paul and uh, they are my classmates today. So I kind of wanted to introduce them and ask them a few questions. Um, Rita is uh, in uh, from Italy and she lives in Ibiza and Paul is from Miami. Yes, Miami. Can you guys believe it? Representing. All the way representing <laughs> Miami. Um, some of you, as you know, I, I was raised and I grew up in Miami. I lived for 16 years. So it was really interesting to see someone in Miami, from Miami in Thailand. Uh, so very, very nice. So Rita, tell us, um, why are you vegan? Uh, when did you start and why are you here? So I started to be vegan like uh, almost seven years ago for a healthy question. And then also, of course, for the animals. But the first, the first thing was my health. And I really love and love Asiatic food, so I want to try and to cook, of course. And I want to learn how to do it. And of course, the best thing is to find a school that is vegan as well. So this is why I'm here. Yes, yes. And how long are you in Thailand? 
I will be one month more. Yeah. Okay, great, great. Okay, awesome, awesome. Thank you for that. Thank and you. Um, Paul, tell us why are you vegan and why are you here? Okay, I've been vegan on the path probably for nine years now. And I wasn't always vegan, but you know, I started out maybe pesca vegan. And then I phase out the fish and then I phase out you know, the cheese and until I ultimately became 100% vegan. And I went on the path for health reasons, not because I had a health issue, but because I didn't want to have health issues in, in the future. I became aware and conscious that, you know, many diseases are preventable through, through diet, and many diseases are caused by, by diet, you know, yeah. contrarily. Yes, yes. So, um, you know, that, 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 that's the reason I started. Yes. And since I've been vegan, though, I've become much more conscious and aware of the environment, of animal rights, of being a voice for, for the animals, yes, yes, yes. and a voice for, for, for the voiceless, yes, yes. and sustainability Great. of our planet. Yes, yes, and it's very interesting because when we found out that we are both from Miami, uh, we actually know a bunch of people that uh, we have uh, friends, mutual friends with, mm -hmm. uh, Bass at Vegas, John Lewis, shout out to John Lewis, mm -hmm. and Th Tori Washington, and all of the vegan athletes and uh, vegan activists uh, down in Miami and um, uh, Rita is also into holistic health. Uh, tell yes. us what, what is it that you do? I'm an osteopath, physiotherapist and cranial sacral therapist mm -hmm. and uh, I love to work to all the body to find which is the origin of the problem that the health problems. Yes. The most of the time is not just in a bone or a muscle like most of the people say think but it can be from the skull, from the mouth, from the visceral part. Yes. because everything is connected yes, this is yes, just yes. anatomy not magician yes so. yes yes <laughs> and if you guys have to give one or two advice uh, to other folks wanting to start a vegan lifestyle or a vegetarian lifestyle what would that be start w with the reason because otherwise it would be tough for me to maintain just vegan so be having a specific reason why yes yes the not just for fashion Okay, yes, yes. What about you, Paul? Um, I would say, you know, change your health. Be an example for, for those for yourself and for, for those around you. Um, you know, cut out dairy products. You know, cut, cut out, um, you know, eating fast food, junk food. And it's amazing how fast you'll see that your health will change, your energy will increase. And, you know, you'll stop getting colds and flus when everybody yeah. else is suffering from cold yeah. and flu. Yeah, yeah, You're going to yeah. be... No, just fine yes yes well thank you guys it was so nice meeting you guys thank and you thank you again. for the interview and guys be inspired today to just start adding those uh, plant-based meals to your diet all right so hello from Thailand bye, bye, -bye guys bye, bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs>